Hey guys, we are being asked which of these ordered pairs are a solution to this equation, okay? So we could graph this equation as a line, okay? If, you have, if you're not to that point in your math journey yet, don't worry, it's coming. We're not doing it right this minute though. But it could be a line and we're wondering if these are points on that line, okay? So what we're going to do is my first number in my ordered pair is considered an X. Second one is considered a Y. You've probably been graphing these. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you a funny slash sad story about why I've had to record this video so many times. So stick around for that if you'd like to. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to plug these in one for X, six for Y and see what happens. Okay. So Y equals or six equals negative three X, which when they're written next to each other like that, that means they're being multiplied. So it's negative three times X, which we are seeing if X can be one plus nine. Okay. Order of operations tells me to multiply first. So negative three times one just gives me negative three, right? Plus nine. Okay. Negative three plus nine gives me six. So I end up with six equals six, which is true. So yes, this ordered pair is a solution for this equation. Okay. Let's do another one. So first number is considered my X. Second number is considered my Y. Okay. So Y equals 10 equals negative three times X, which we are seeing if it can be negative two plus nine. Okay. So I'm going to have 10 equals a negative times a negative gives me a positive three times two gives me six so six plus nine. Oh, not looking good we end up with 10 equals 15 which i am pretty sure is not true so no negative 210 is not a solution for this equation it's a solution for a different one but not for this one okay all right third one First one's considered my X, second one's considered my Y. So Y equals negative six equals negative three times X, which we are seeing if it can be five plus nine. Okay. So I end up with negative six equals negative three times five. Negative, negative times a positive gives me a negative. Three times five gives me 15 plus nine. Okay. Negative six equals... Okay, this is like, I owe you $15 and I'm like, I don't have all of it, but I can give you $9. So I still owe you $6, right? So negative six equals negative six, which is true. So yes, this one is a solution. Okay. All right. Last one. What color have I used? Red. Okay. So first one is X. Second one is Y. Y equals, so 15 equals negative three times negative four plus nine. Okay. So I end up with 15 equals negative three times negative four. Negative times a negative is a positive. Three times four is 12 plus nine. Uh oh, not looking good. 15 equals 21, which not true last time I checked. So this one is not no. Okay. So we had two yeses, two noes. Okay. You ready for my sad, funny story? I recorded this video and another video twice accidentally at 10 times speed <laughs> because I'd recorded it 10 times speed yesterday for a short I was making where I wanted my hands to go all fast. Right. But I didn't want that for this video. Anyways. So I recorded one and realized it was at 10 times speed. And I was like, Oh dang it. So I went printed new papers but I didn't switch from 10 times speed. So I recorded two more videos at 10 times speed. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching at normal speed. Bye. <laughs>